take a good look. What do you think? It's a violin, yes, but this violin has a story. Inside, you can just see a label saying Joseph Guarnerius Fake It, Cremona, 1733. If this is truly a Guarneri violin, it could be worth hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not a million. It was given to 90-year-old John Hopkins in 1943 by an Italian soldier. John was stationed in Treviso and played the violin in a five-piece dance band to entertain the troops of his unit. It was um, probably just a day like any other day, and the chapel came in with this. He was to come, and I was in charge of the canteen. So I probably gave him 200 cigarettes for it or something like that. John doesn't know what the violin's worth, but as he no longer plays, he wants to give it away. And when he watched Look North a couple of weeks ago, this is what he saw. Will Dutton, who's from Harrogate, played for us after winning a place at the world-famous Yehudi Menuhin School, and John would like him to have his violin. So, is it genuine? We took it to a violin restorer to find out. It's labelled Joseph Guarnerius, but... Uh... The date would be too late for him anyway. In fact, it's a late 19th century German instrument, and even though it's not a Guarnerius, Will is still extremely touched by John's yeah, offer well, and came to meet him today. It turns out John has three violins, and Will has chosen this one because he likes its tone. It's worth about a thousand pounds. He's just been wonderfully kind, and this is so generous of him. It's it's unbelievable, really. I mean, I've been looking for a full-size violin um, because my seven-eighths that I play on at the moment is getting a bit too small for me, so <laughs> I think I've found it. So here's how it sounds. John enjoyed a private concert in his own home. After all, one good turn deserves another. Kathy Killick, BBC Look North, Leeds.